So 8.0.26.0 got released, and unlike the releases before it that were just fixes, this one is going to come with features. How you do it? X A B C D. Where you been? X A B C D. Candlesticks. X A B C D. Okay, so what's new in this release that you need to know about? Let's start with those fixes. 15124. So in the old version of Ninja Trader 8, there used to be a message that read when you tried to import a zip file, uh, such as an indicator or something like that, saying that there was an incompatible version or it's an old version. And now they've improved that to read it's either an incompatible version or it might not even be a NinjaTrader script archive. And that's important because, of course, if you get our pattern software, you'll know that you unzip it and then you run the installer and it installs and sets up your licenses, all your workspaces, templates, audio files, everything else that you can't do with a normal NinjaTrader 8 import file. So that's why that's important. 15089. So safe mode used to be the secret thing that... Uh, I guess mainly their tech support knew about and stuff like that. It, I mean, they weren't hiding it, but it wasn't widely known because you had to hold down the control key and then double click on NinjaTrader and it would load up the platform without loading up any third party software or any major changes to the software so that you can at least get up and running. Now, what they've done is they made this an, a, a start menu icon. So if you search for NinjaTrader when you're trying to run your program, you're also going to see now the safe mode and that's what that's for troubleshooting. 15178. So the alert always triggers when a workspace opens if an alert is applied to a background chart. Um, so <laughs> basically, if you have alerts running and they happen to be in a workspace that's open when you load NinjaTrader 8, um, if it's applied to a background chart, it's just going to uh, always keep firing. Anyways, that's been fixed. 15148. So there was an issue where in a multiple panel chart, um, you weren't able to actually change the instruments and that has now been resolved. 15179. So now I'm a big fan of the polygon drawing tool that they have in there and the path drawing objects as well were affected, but they could disappear on reloading of a NinjaTrader script file if that was used. So I don't know how many people would have been hitting this, but it has been resolved in case you are a lover of the polygon tool. So a quick housekeeping item. Uh, I need to do a little poll quickly. I want you to either hit the thumbs up button if you want us to keep doing these update videos for the next 12 months or hit the dislike button if you don't want us to do them. You might have noticed that we've been doing a lot of live streams recently, kind of playing around with the content. So we are looking at these analytics and to trying to determine what you guys want more of. So if you want these sort of videos, hit the thumbs up button. If you don't, hit the thumbs down button. 15106, the Superdome and charts uh, might become unresponsive when duplicating the Superdome window. So um, if that was something that you hit, you should see some stability improvements. 15173, so the global drawing objects, they could be duplicated when using the save as uh, when you try to save your workspace. So if you notice any global drawing objects that were duplicated when you did that, um, that would be the reason that should be fixed. So a lot of the fixes so far are pretty mild. Um, you know, we are on build 26, so not a, a huge amount of these things that are going to be earth shattering. Uh, so that is, I guess, a good thing. So it's nice to see some features in this one as well, which we will get to now. 15190. So there is now support for the Ferex exchange. Now this support uh, was added, but the products that you can actually get through there are limited. Now this is kind of interesting because I don't know if you guys know much about Ferex, um, but there's no data fees or anything like that. But what you can look at as far as products are concerned or instruments are the following list I'm going to put right here. And you probably never heard of many of these. So I'm just going to a little description there as well give you a sec to read that and uh, that might be expanded as they kind of grow it's more recent and volume if you use volume you're probably not going to want to use this but uh, for those of you who want these types of quotes then you can get them through that 
15072. Now this is great for TDA users. Uh, the login authorization over the WebView 2 adapter has now been implemented. So TDA users can now log in and authorize their accounts that way. Um, and this would include those who are on Windows 11, which is probably why it was in there. So 15104. So when you go to tools, options, general and then under preferences you'll see show default with workspace folder checked uh, the default workspace is our ship with an trader desktop will always be accessible in the dedicated folder underneath the workspaces but that might be an interesting little feature for you 15044 now this is to add the korean language support into ninja trader 8 i didn't know how popular this feature was going to be until i asked the question and i was surprised how many of our own members that use our pattern software are korean so um, that's probably going to be a good one for for some of you so that wraps up our 8.0.26.0 summary review of NinjaTrader's latest release. I am so looking forward to seeing how the latest acquisition of Tradovate will come together with NinjaTrader. Is this going to be done in NT9 or are we looking at seeing this integrate with the features of NT8? It will be very interesting to see since Tradovate does a good job at mobile and web platforms, something that NinjaTrader 8 has not really focused on. So very much looking forward to seeing how that's done, how that all comes together. Don't forget to subscribe to our future videos and we will speak again soon.